Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Observation. It, you know, I'm here, hello, there's a webcam. I kind of forgot there was a webcam. I'm talking to myself while I'm looking at the review. It's weird. Hmm. Okay, anyway, yes, sci-fi thriller. It's made by the same people who made Stories Untold, so I thought I would give it a go, because it's... Ah, oh, I was full of, I'm going to make myself jump, and it's going to suck, but we're going to go straight into it because... Ooh, hello. Oh, there you go. Let me look at my preview so I can... What can you guys not see? Uh, that, I think, that should be good enough. Hopefully everything's going to record okay. I haven't checked it. We put on subtitles? Yeah, let's, let's put on subtitles. I'm using a controller. So, why is that not clean? Eh, there we go, subtitles. Low orbit space station observation. 410 kilometers above Earth. Enable voice authentication. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140412. Uh -huh. We play as Sam, as far as I know. Uh, ah, well, voice print errors detected. Let's reject it. Come on, try again. Voice authenticate. Get it right and I'll authenticate. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140412. This is very strange. There we go. Systems, Administration and Maintenance Online. LT to enter a response mode. Uh... That's left trigger. Ah, okay. Respond. I am here. Oh. oh God. Thank God. Okay, okay, okay. What? Now we're getting somewhere. I don't think I trust a robot that okay. sounds like that. Seem to have booted up in module eight. I'm going to relocate you to the Horizon Utility Hub in module nine. That should give you access to limited system diagnostics. Mm, thank you, Emma. Hang on. Great. Listen, I'm stuck in the Horizon airlock in module eleven. I need to get into nine, but I'm not sure if it's safe to open this hatch door. Can you give me hull and pressure diagnostics on module nine? 
Yes. <laughs> Module 9. So it's got safe pressure. The power's low. Oh, contacts true. That means they're attached, right? And system link's connected. Oh, hang on. Can I do it from in here? Uh... Module 9 is fully pressurized. Oh man, this guy's voice is freaky. Are the adjacent contact points from 9 intact? Module 9 hull contact points to adjacent modules read true. Good, we're still connected. Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the hull contact points on the other modules? Sure, why not? Get a module where she is. She's module 11. Let's check where she is. Or is I in module 11? Uh, module 11. Hull contact points to adjacent module 9. Read true. Yeah, I can see that. I'm in. <laughs> God damn it. I was looking out for your safety, sir. Emma. Uh, uh oh. Module 10. Hull contact points to 12. Read false. Suggesting that module 12 my is in the way no longer securely levels. attached to the station. Shit. I think Josh might have been in module 12. Okay. I'm coming through to 9. Sam! The Ooh. hatch door is jammed shut! Oh, wow. The controls aren't responding. See if you can restore power. What is going on? Sam, are you still there? Those coordinates? I don't have a date. What's going on, Sam? What is that noise? Sam, what is that? Uh... Sam, a response! What the hell is going on? Bring her? Oh, uh, no? Is there a no? Is there a decline option? <laughs> what in the hell is going on? I get a feeling this is going to be one of those uh, series where I don't talk much. I do apologise to anyone who likes listening to uh, me ramble. Oh, she looks pretty dead. Are you okay? Emma? Uh, oh, she's alive. Wonderful. I don't want her to die. What just happened? I... I think I blacked out. Sam, run your self-diagnostic procedure. And what errors are you showing? I just want to point out that this woman's voice is amazing. Okay, let's run the diagnostic. I am not very good at reading code very quickly. I'm hoping it's all a bunch of gibberish. Gibberish. Relocation network error. Uh, let's run the network check. Oh, the whole relocation network is non-operational. Crew assist required. Relocation functions are offline. I require auto-routing to access module cameras. Okay, I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. Wonderful. Now let's check out the memory core error. I assume we're just scanning our memory cores, right? 95% degradation, that's not good. 93% degradation, wow, that's a lot of degradation. 87? 97. Uh... The main memory core has been corrupted. 
I have lost significant station data. Okay. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. Okay. And the crew tracker error. Mm, crew identification network. No. Mm. Okay, so we don't seem to be able to connect it to anything, but. I'll just hold it down for a little bit. Aha! I wasn't holding it down long enough. Got some of those low quality wires. Oh. The connection between crew tracker functionality and Sam OS has been severed. Oh, Sam. So it's working, <laughs> but the link is cut. I'll need to reconnect it in central. Josh? Oh, hello. May? Anyone? Shit. Okay. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from Module 9. Module okay. 9. I'm auto-routing you back to the utility hub in Module 9. Camera movement should be online now. Run a test. Oh, left stick to move camera. Okay, what is this? Ah, I can scan That's good. Things. Camera cycling should be active as well. Combustion unit. Check the other cameras. Uh, cycle between cameras using the D. Uh, so we get to we get to look at this room from multiple different angles. Great. I can see your live feed updating from here. Oh, wonderful. There should be a system links reset procedure document on the wall somewhere in there. Find it and scan it. Your scan range is limited, so use your camera zoom to get closer. Oh, zoom! Uh, modif International Space Station. Oh, so we're on the International Space Station. That's very cool. Uh, on the wall, on the wall. Is that it? I think so. The SAM OS procedure system link reset shows terminal input code tick that allows a crew member to reset SAM system link functionality in the event of a software failure. Warning, this procedure will require a reconnection to all system links station wide. Only perform after a full reset. Okay, that should be reinstalling the system link interface. Use your cameras to locate the hatch controls and any other integrated systems and equipment. Okay. Link to the laptop? Oh. Good, good. Huh. Looks like that's working. Add another. Guessing not that laptop? Or do I have to be looking at the screen? Control. Okay. Now add the EAS eleven airlock hatch controls. ES eleven, that's ES ten. ES eleven is this one right here. A bad time to mention I'm using an ES4 controller with okay, the buttons down like that on the screen. <laughs> Use your system link interface to open the EAS-11 airlock. Okay, how do I do that? Do I just zoom at it? Ah! Wait, schematic? Ooh, let's wait for the tutorial on that one. Let's open that. That's it. It's open. I'm out. Good work, Sam. Okay. Let's get this up and running. Josh? I don't know if you can hear me, but... 
hate these things. Oh, hello. Josh, if you're in EAS Module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? Anyone? At this point, you'd assume your communications are down, right? What? Uh, wait a minute, Sam? Our internal communication network is fully online. Where has everyone gone? Oh, they're just gone. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, station alert, station alert. I wonder what that's the, uh, there's a symbol that keeps appearing in the slot. Right, Sam, right. you should have access to your OS now. Uh, by clicking this button. You can now relocate to any module wow. and view its camera feeds. In the EAS arm, at least. Try it now. Find that fire, Sam. I use a pre the preview window to kind of... It looks like it might be in five. Oh no, it's definitely four. There is a fire out of control in EAS 4. Shit, I'm on my way. Yeah, we said there's not much we can do about it or anything. Uh, can we try and get that hatch door? That's probably a bad idea. <laughs> but let's let's help the fire spread. Ah. Extractor vents. Can we just vent the oxygen in the room? Not sure if good idea or bad idea. Uh, and it's locked. Okay, so she's on her way. Is she stuck somewhere? Oh no, she is moving through. Sam, the hatch in EAS six is locked down. Can you get it open for me? Okay, is there any way I can get it from in here? Uh, there it is. Yeah. Let's get the system link. Y, X, Y. Open. It's open. I'm on my way. Good, good, good. good. These things are getting a little Relocate bit... To EAS3. I'll need your help when I get there. Okay. I'm very good at following orders, you see. I'm a good AI. I just want us to survive. A food warmer? A fire extinguisher? I've never been on a space station before. It's a Welsh flag! It's also Japanese and a few other people. Get ready. Fire suppression override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door. On three. Are you ready? Yes. One. Two. Three. That's it. Come on! <laughs> That's a very haphazard way of putting out a fire. We just kind of went. Uh, I already spotted these vents, didn't I? Uh, don't remember where. On the floor somewhere. Are they on the walls? Possibly the ceiling. There they are. That's it. It's working. The fumes are dissipating now. How bad is it? 
Hold R3 to view details. Hmm. Uh, zoom to respond. Oh dear. It doesn't look too the bad. Units have been damaged beyond any <laughs> functional use. Oh no, it's bad. Overall, that's not too bad, considering. What started it? What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Um. Several of the storage lockers have been severely damaged by the fire. Good to know. That's not what she asked. Can you find the source of the fire, though, please, Sam? It's that panel right there, isn't it? Residue on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. Didn't look very blank. And buttons on it and everything. Something is coming out the side. What is that? It's like a thick grease. Or oil. Yeah. Dark red. And there was maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Oh, come on. What now? Sam, give me a status report. Severe stress warning in EAS 12. There is significant stress being applied to EAS 12. Immediate separation recommended. Sam's doing my job for me in this video. Please, if there is anyone in Module 12, make yourself known now. Can we not scan Module 12? Jettison the module. Someone, please respond. This is getting much worse. <sighs> okay. Sam, get ready for the separation procedure. Okay, first, process my authorization code and give me a security override key. Uh, oh, God. One, four, four, two, four, one, three, three, two, four. Oh god. Sam, come Lie on! Me. <laughs> Authorization 144241-3324. Christ! 2903419. Got it. Inputting now. Hurry, Sam. Target the jets and push the module away safely. Oh. Target the jets in the correct sequence. Got it. Oh, this game's stressful. I hope to God if anyone was in there. They had their suit on. Sam. I mean, if they didn't, they're kind of stuck. We've stopped spinning. Are they not? We've stabilized. I think. I think we're okay. Listen, I'm going to relocate you to the external cameras and see if we can get a better view of the station. Uh oh. Or what's left of it. You just say low orbit. Lost. There's a there's an atmosphere down there, you don't really want to be messing with. The signals are weak and distorted. I don't understand. We should be right above Houston. Can you detect any damage, Sam? No? EAS-12 is still tethered with unusual structural damage. It's like a hole has been cut out of it. What would do that? We must have spun off course. Damage doesn't look too severe. Just isolated sections. Oh god, the camera's making me feel strange.
What are we looking for here? What are we looking for? Please repeat, repeat your previous uh, request. Have a look around, Sam. Tell me what you see. Okay. I see next to nothing. I suppose I could check another camera. It's a very, very detailed space station. From CASA instead of NASA. <laughs> like it. I like it a lot. This is a very interesting game. It's completely different to Stories Untold, or what I played of Stories Untold. It is a thriller, though, so... I am expecting there to be something that's going to make me feel very uncomfortable. I'm covering... My camera's covering up the damn... The CN assault. arm is badly damaged. Oh God, May. It looks intact, though. Okay, let's see if there's anything else. On the final camera? Oh, that's not good. The solar array's been damaged. The primary solar panel array on the EAS arm has been torn off. That explains the lack of power. I'm going to connect to the distance cam. We should see where we are above Earth and if we've lost any altitude. Oh my god, Sam. Wait, what? That's... Saturn? How did we get here? What? Yeah, Saturn. I brought you here. It seems. What? How? Why? Received coordinates set. I don't know. Well. This seems like a perfect place to end the first episode of Observation. But, well, yes, it's the credits. Well, it's the introduction, so I suppose I should let this play. I should say I plan on playing all of this. I'm doing a one big report recording batch because I'm actually excited to play this game myself. So I'm going to try and release one every day. We'll see what happens. So if you enjoy this, there's not going to be too long a wait. There's not going to be like a week wait like my normal videos because I'm genuinely excited to, uh, to play through as much of this as possible because it seems like such an interesting premise. I like space stations, I like AI, and I really liked the uh, the way that well, the no code did the previous games. Well, previous game. So, uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see where it's going. It's still going. It's very cool. Observation. Awesome. Please do a pause button. <laughs> Aha! Right, yes. Thank you for watching. We will pick up right where we left off. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, see you next time.